Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the glomerular filtrate. So this is the fluid which is going to enter the glomerular capsule from the afferent arterioles and from the glomerular capillaries. And it's known as filtrate or ultrafiltrate. And it's formed under hydrostatic pressure of blood. And this is similar to the formation of tissue fluid by other capillary beds in the body. So we have the afferent arteriole here, which is going to carry the blood. Here we have the glomerular capillaries. And this high hydrostatic pressure of blood forces the fluid out into the glomerular capsule. And it's then known as filtrate. So the force which favors this filtration, so this hydrostatic pressure, is opposed by a counter force which is developed by the hydrostatic pressure of fluid in the glomerular capsule so that's the hydrostatic pressure of the fluid which is located in the capsule here so since the protein concentration of tubular fluid so the tubular fluid which uh, is located along the nephron is low less than two to five milligrams per hundred milliliters compared to that of the plasma in the arterial or the glomerular capillaries for example which is six to eight milligrams per hundred milliliters the greater colloid osmotic pressure of plasma promotes the osmotic return of the filtered water. So it initiates or draws back the water which was filtered out thanks to the protein concentration because it's much greater in the plasma in the glomerular capillaries than outside in the tubular fluid in the glomerular space. <clears throat> so when these opposing forces are subtracted from the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillaries there's a net filtration pressure of only about 10 millimeters of mercury and that's the one that's measured so as you can see there is a very low uh, filtration pressure but what we need to understand is the glomerular the glomerular capillaries are very very permeable and they have a very great surface area so despite the filtration pressure only being 10 millimeters of mercury since the surface area is so large and the glomerular capillaries are generally quite permeable it means we have a large volume of filtrate which is generally produced now we can go on to measure this so we have the glomerular filtration rate abbreviated as gfr and this is the volume of filtrate which is produced by both kidneys per minute per minute and in women um, they produce 115 milliliters per minute and men produce 125 mill milliliters per minute and this is equivalent to about 7.5 liters per hour or 180 liters per day and the total blood volume is approximately 5.5 liters so a total blood volume is filtered into the urinary tubules every 40 minutes approximately